Thanks for joining us on Woodworking with Wes. In today's segment, I'm going to show you how I build the drawers for my kitchen cabinets, for the standard cabinets that we build all the time. It's a quick, easy drawer, and we're going to show you how to build that drawer today. As always, the first step is our cutout. I've made a list here listing my drawer sizes and my cutout sizes. Always I do this whenever I cut a project. I always make a drawer uh, cutout list so that I know what I'm doing. This is our cutout list. This is the material we'll be using. We're using a 5 8 Baltic birch. One of the reasons we use 5 8 Baltic birch is it has a very dense uh, ply, multiple ply makes a really good drawer stock and the pre-finish on it is a very nice finish very durable and makes a nice clean drawer when we get all done the first thing we did Baltic birch comes in a 5 by 5 sheet the first thing we did was to cut a couple of strips off of the 5 by 5 21 inches deep or 21 inches wide that's the depth of our drawer 21 inches so we made a couple of cuts 21 inches and then we go back and we cut the height of our drawer and that's what we'll do now we've got our width cut our depth cut 21 inches and so we're going to cut our size heights now now the drawers we're going to do today for our display uh, for our sample are going to be four inches so we're going to take some four inch slices off of that and we'll do that now in determining the width of our drawer if you'll notice here our drawers, our four inch drawers, this is the one we're going to cut right here. We're four inches high, we're 16 and 1 8 inches total width of the drawer, 21 inches deep. Now this number out here, this 14 and 15 16, I'll show you how we get that number. In order to get our full width of 16 and 1 8, we put two pieces together that are going to be our sides and we'll measure those. Now this is supposed to be 5 8 Baltic birch but it's good to check the exact width of two pieces put together and if you'll notice we're a sixteenth of an inch shy of an inch and a quarter. An inch and a quarter would be five eighths times two and that should be if we're using five eighths Baltic birch we should be at one and a quarter inches total S but we're only one and three sixteenths we've subtracted one and three sixteenths from our 16 and 1 8 measurement giving us 14 and 5 sixteenths which is going to be the front and back of our drawer so that's what we're going to cut next we're going to cut our 14 and 5 sixteenths inch the first thing we'll do is we'll rip our stock 14 and 5 sixteenths wide and then we'll cut some four inch pieces Okay, we've cut our 14 and 5 16th inch widths. Now we're going to cut the 4 inch sections. I always like to take a chunk off of the end that's a little wider uh, in, in 4 inches. If we'll cut it 22 inches, that'll give us uh, 5 pieces of 4 inch. That makes it so that I can handle a little better on the saw. That's what I was cutting my other pieces out of was the 22 inch piece that I cut off the end of the long strip. We'll do that now on, this, on the fronts and back piece. Now the four inch strips. Now we have our sides cut and we have our fronts and backs cut. The next thing we have to do is we have to put a groove down here to accept our quarter inch bottom. We'll go over to the saw now and cut that and I'll show you how we, uh, we determine what we do there and when we get to the saw. Our next step in our drawers is to cut a groove to accept the quarter inch bottom. I have a scrap piece here so that we can set it. We, uh, we have to be a half inch from the bottom. We want to be about almost halfway in the depth and then we'll cut our groove. So the first thing we're going to do is set the depth of our saw blade. And the best way to set it, or the way I find the easiest way to set it, is to just put your wood up against the saw blade and that it doesn't have to be an exact measurement this is not uh, a critical measurement 
So we'll just go right about there. We'll make a sample cut and make sure that we are where we want to be. We have our blade height set where we wanted to have it now. Now we'll set our fence at a half inch. And we'll make one preliminary cut and measure and make sure we're where we want to be. Okay, let's check ourselves. We want it to be a half inch. We're a little more than I want to be, so we're going to reset that. But let's check our depth. Let's get over here on this end where we can see a little better. That's just about where we want to be. I'm going to leave the depth right where it is. I like that depth as far as our depth goes. But we need to set the saw fence for our half inch just a little closer. We'll give it just a bump. We'll make another cut. Okay, let's check our measurement. We're good, right there. We're just a little bit more than a half inch, but that's okay. We're so tiny of a measurement difference that it's going to be just fine. So that's where we're going to start. Now we'll go back and we'll groove all of our sides and our ends. Now we have our first cut made in our drawer sides and bottoms, our ends. This is our sample piece. This will be our bottom and we need to make a groove wide enough to accept this quarter inch bottom. Our saw blade is only one eighth inch wide, so we made we need to make a, another cut to make our our uh, slot big enough to accept the quarter inch bottom. So we're going to set the saw blade over one more in, uh, eighth of an inch and make that second cut so we can get our bottom. We've made our second cut to allow for our quarter inch bottom, and we're testing it to make sure it fits and we're just right. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut all of our sides and bottom pieces with our next cut so that we're ready for our bottoms. Okay, there we are. All of our grooves are cut, ready for drawer bottom. We have one more step before we start assembling. Our drawer bottoms, let's, let's just dry set a drawer here real quick and let me show you something. Here's a side, here's a side, front and back. That's the way the drawer is going to go together like that. On the back side, however, we want to be able to slide our drawer bottom in and so we're going to cut away this portion of the bottom of this drawer so that we can slide the drawer face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the saw blade at this measurement right here and we're going to take this much off of that drawer bottom and we're going to do that on each drawer only for the back side. I'll show you when we put it together how that works but we're going to take that off right now. I went ahead and grooved it so that I would know exactly where to cut it but we're going to cut that groove off. That's right. Okay, and we need to do it for two pieces and leave two pieces. Okay, now this becomes the front and this becomes the back. We're now getting ready to assemble our drawer that we've cut out. We're going to be using an 18 gauge inch and a half nail and we're just going to uh, butt joint and nail together. This is a very simple drawer construction that we use for our cabinet production. It allows us to build a lot of drawers very quickly and inexpensively. This is what we use for the majority of our kitchen construction. That's why I'm showing you this particular drawer. So let's go ahead and nail this drawer together. Now remember our back side we cut to uh, allow for the groove. The way we make sure that we've got that is we tip it over and put our back here. And now our top is still flush because we're tied against our bench and you can see where our bottom lines up with our groove. So let's nail the bottom in or the back side in. Okay, there's our basic drawer box. 
Now, we need to measure and cut the bottom. Now that we have the drawer together, we'll measure from the inside groove to the inside groove. That'll get our, the width of our bottom. And we know we're 21 inches deep, and we'll subtract the thickness of this material, which is the same as it be on the front, and that'll give us the width. We determine the size of our drawer bottom and cut it to fit. I always take a little bit of glue and I put in my front slot right here to glue the front edge of my drawer bottom. Then I just slide it in, flush across the back. Then we just take some three quarter inch small crown staples. And we nail in. Now, I always square my drawer up by making sure it's tight along that edge. And then over on the front side, I tap it. And then I put one little staple over here to hold it. Now my drawer is square. Held square, glued up front, nailed along the back, tied along that edge. And here's our drawer box, all put together. Now we've used, for a bottom, we've used quarter inch natural maple melamine. It matches our pre-finished Baltic birch. It's a nice clean finish. Makes it very easy for the homeowner to wipe out and keep clean. And I'll show you how now how we finish the edges so that everything's nice and smooth. But now our drawer box is basically together. We're getting ready now to ease the edges and sand out. We start with the bottom, and the th I take a sanding block, and I sand off my staples, and I just go around and break my edges. Corners, the bottom edge, inside and out. All the way around the drawer. That eliminates any sharp edges and any possibilities of slivers. Now on the top side, we do a little different. We do a round over and we sand. So the next thing we'll do is we'll round over the edge with an eighth inch round over inside and out. Okay, we did a one eighth inch round over inside and out. Now we're just going to sand the top and re-sand this edge here that we just routed, and our drawer will be done. And there you have it. The drawer all done, all ready to go. All we have to do now is install. This is how we do the majority of the drawers for our cabinet construction. They're quick, they're simple, they're strong, they're easy to keep clean, and you can build a lot of them. Thanks for joining us on how to build a drawer for kitchen cabinets. Nice, easy, simple, and easy to manufacture drawers. This is a great project to learn how to do, and we want to have you join us for future projects on woodworking with Wes. Don't forget to subscribe.